I am the Commissar, that's my name. Forged Alliance Forever, that's the game. And who have we got with a claim to fame? Today, we have four players on the cold team in the north and four players on the hot team in the south on the map Project Tabula. Let's go in and meet them. In the rearguard air position for cold team, we have Nimushira, who is 945 rated. He's Eon in baby blue. In front of him, in the central position, we have Papa Kababa, who is 1141 rated, UEF, in mauve. In the anti-clockwise position, we have Adlordi, who is 1089 rated, he's UEF, in dark blue. And last but not least, in the clockwise position for Cold Team, we have XOD. 987 rated Cybron in Cyan and the hot team in the rearguard air position we have Sin Siggy 972 rated Cybron in bright red in the central position Gugai 1154 rated UEF in orange. In the anti-clockwise position, this is Info Action Ratio, a name which to me sounds a bit like a Japanese girl band for some reason. Certainly got more of a swing to it than the full Information Action Ratio, doesn't it? Info Action Ratio. Anyway, the metric qualities of his name aside, he is 1011 rated, he's Cybron, and he is in brown. And last but not least, for the hot team, this down here is Beta, 1132 rated, Cybron, in Burgundy. And so, we have the code team with two UEF, one Cybron, one Eon, and the south team, the hot team, with three Cybron and one UEF. Now, I promised a look at the map. As you can see, there's Reclaim liberally scattered across it in actually quite large chunks, you know, 500 there, 500 there. But there are particular clusters across the middle here, both here, 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 and here. And this is a canyon in the middle if we go and look at it from a nice angle. We can see that it's all at a lower elevation and so shots can be fired down. And this diamond in the middle is where all the fighting is happening because these areas down here are impassable and are blocked by those cliffs so no that's a quick note to say adlordi going very early for tech to land it's only three minutes ten and we have got labs out here which this is nice look at this labs for Info, who has managed to get a couple of kills cleaning up an NG here. This lab has also got its way out here but is just guarding rather than attacking at present. And this lab might actually run away from its opponents and get some further work done. Though I suspect it's going to walk into Nimble's com. Yeah, it's trying to guard this mech and Nimble's com will walk past it. So, good bit of early aggression there from Info. Papa here has sent his com down into the middle and Gugai hasn't so Papa gonna have the early advantage in actual combat down here so Gugai's got a bit of spam down here and Papa doesn't but this com setting up factories getting a position he'll definitely have an early advantage here although I do see a drop coming out from Sin City looks like he's just going to try and steal this reclaim from under the noses of Code Team. And another sort of set of tanks from Info have managed to set up here again, getting between Exo's units. And there we are, we're just getting a nice reclaim drop. Look at that delicious rock of 300 mass being sucked up by Sinsigi. And he's also going for this one up here. 
And I think he's also going for this one here. They'll have find yes, they'll have find that Ad has already taken it. This raid, however, not gonna get anything more done because Nimble's com is gonna take it out. Early bomber trying to deprive Papa of this position, but he's already got an anti-air turret here and that bomber doesn't last. But this NG has actually won its reclaim war against the NG from Adordi, and so that is in a position to claim the reclaim and take this mech for a while. With the reclaim I'd picked up here, I would actually grab this mech before moving on. Looks like Adlordi is coming in person to deal with it, but that's taking his com away from here, and that's leaving an opening for Beta to push in with a reasonable wave of tanks, which he could get up here, and yes, he can see what's going on, so he's moving his tanks with the scout. So he's moving his tanks over this way, where they could easily take out Ad's radar, Hydro, and these engines. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. A couple of gun upgrades going down for Papa and Beta. There's a little giveaway that I'm English. If the accent wasn't enough, I say Beta rather than Beta. And that's correct too, we call it an alphabet, not an alphabet. Gun upgrades going down all around as XOD joins in the fun. We've got a bit of a push from Info here, but it's being seen off by tanks from XO. And this attack from Beta has actually got, haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Has actually got quite deep into Adelaide's territory. He's defending with Mongies, which aren't a great defensive unit unless you can keep them at range and kite, but Beta is actually sticking around to take out these mexes, which I think is a great decision because it does deprive Adelaide of these mexes, but it does mean that he lost a few more tanks to these Mongies than he had to. And Adordi really needs to keep an eye on the reclaim because there's delicious mass he could be picking up here that he hasn't yet. And Beta retreats to take out these two mixes as well and consolidate his position. So good win for Beta on the left side there. There's also a fight going down in the middle and while Gugai has more tanks, Papa has his guncom and I think the guncom will swing the day for him. And it does indeed, we can see Gulgai being forced to fall back a bit. Over here we have Info upgrading to T2 to try and get an emplacement on this position, bringing tanks around the side here, covering them with point defence here. Oh, that's pretty good. Oop, but we better have a look back here as Ad is under pressure again from the tanks of B Beta, but Ad is doubling down on the Mongols defense. Both these factories are still on Mongols. This one's idle and immediately starts building mo Mongols. So, full Mongols defense. I think one of these should be on Rhinos to lead the charge and take the punch, but Ad disagrees with me and he's losing Mongols as they walk anywhere at all near to Beta's spam. Exo gets stealth as well. And Gun for Stealth definitely beats T2, especially when there's only one turret up so far. But Info is not going to wait. He's going to put another turret up. And that might be enough in combination with the spam to hold off Exo, especially if Exo is going to walk in alone. In he comes. He can definitely be seen. And two T2 PDs and spam, Exo feels that that's a little too much for his comm to take alone, and he falls back. However, he will soon have another gun comm on his side in the form of Nimushira, 
and that may turn the tide in his favour. Meanwhile, that, that horde of mongies may be about to reach a critical mass. Beta's com falls back a bit, but the mongies look like they're getting in too close, and although they get one round of Gatling gun and grenade fire off towards Beta, who has got the gun upgrade, it's not quite enough. Beta, however, falls back a bit, which I think is wise. The mongies can kite him, but if Beta can fall back out of their range and just stay there until he's got a few tanks, because he does have T2 on the ground now, he's still only producing NGs, but you can see there at the bottom left that he's got factory upgrades queued here, and he's going for rhinos all day. But Exo and Nimoshera push in, and they have taken out those two turrets of infos. They're going to take out that radar, and I think they're just going to swarm this base entirely and take it over as their own. And there goes info being driven back by the twin comms of Exo and Nimo. And that's quite a big swarm of tanks from EXO, and as yet, these two factories are quite undefended. They are producing units. They're producing hoplites, which are also quite weak to being swarmed, though. And so, if that force gets there in time, those factories might go down. However, EXO is again extending a little too far, and there are hoplites attacking him with a comm to take the hits. And EXO goes down into the red. He's falling back, he's on 2800 hit points, but he feels like he's just out of range, he's got the stealth, he stops there, I'd go a bit further back if I were him, and Nimu with the gun and still in the green is enough to defend him. That swarm of mongies is being topped up again over here by Adlordi, and it does have a rhino in there now, and it's shooting Beta, quite a lot but they recognise that there's not enough to swarm that com yet and fall back. Good sort of pincer movement here from Adelordi though, sending a few little gangs of mongies round the side to pick off anything heading in that direction. And he gets these mexies, he's gonna get this mex, he may even head down here or here, but in all of this we mustn't miss this attack here from Papa, who has brought his gun nano com right up onto Gugai's side of the plateau. Sinsigi's com is here, but he's naked and won't stand much of a chance against the gun nano com plus spam. And Guga is putting up point defences, which will help against the spam. But this heap of this heap of spam is backed up by a gun nano com, and there are artillery pieces and T2 point defence back here from Sinsigi. Ah, but this is something that Papa doesn't yet have an answer to. There are Corsairs in the air, and he does have a few anti-air tanks, but I don't see any actual flak as yet, and those Corsairs will be able to get to work on Papa's Com. Meanwhile, Sinsigi creeps forward with more T2 point defences, and Papa, Papa is just not under threat at the moment. Over here, quick check to note that EXO spam has carried on in and taken out those two factories. Papa now has a shield to fall back to. The Corsairs continue to harass him. Is there any flak in here yet? Still looks like it's only archers. Tech 1 anti-air. So those Corsairs... Oh, no, there we are. There's a Skyboxer. And with the help of that, he should be able to clear up those Corsairs. But he has fallen down into the yellow. This is getting to be quite a massive T2 now for Adlordi, and most of this for Beta is still a T1. And Adlordi is naked, whereas Beta has the gun com, but that's more than enough firepower. That, I think, is a little too much to invest in triads when you've got this much T2, and when that's not the only way into your base, as proved by this push up here. And there are a few scuffers going down over on this side. P 
Papa has is still in the yellow. He's taking hits from things like these RT and these point defences, but he hasn't been forced to fall back yet. And there's posturing here with a few more missile launches in the fray from EXO, but nothing super combative at the moment. I think Papa thinks he hasn't got enough to push in here yet, and this would be why I'm seeing Titans out from Gugai. So we have Tech 3 land on the field, and despite Papa's upgrades, in combination with all this firepower, that Titan might be more than enough. But over here, look at this, that's a lot of Mongies, that's a lot of Pillars, that's a lot of Shields, and Beta is on his way to fight it with a bit of Rhino T2 power of his own, but that's a bad angle. Actually, this might be this might be a bit too much of an extension for Beta. He's into the yellow, he's into the red. 1400, 1200, 600, 500. He's dodging. 100, but he gets a vet at a crucial moment. 120 hit points. But suddenly there's enough spam there getting in among the Mongies and the Mongies of paper if you get up close to them. And beta repels this attack just 120 hit points you do not get many closer shaves than that my dudes meanwhile it is now adlordy who is under threat this is a big horde of spam including several rhinos and he hasn't got a great deal to absorb the fire for him and he's beginning to get surrounded adlordy down into the yellow the Mantis push forward, now the Rhinos push forward. That may have been a little too slow for Beta to react because Adordi is actually still out of range of many of the Rhinos and he's bringing units up to help. He's in the yellow, he's falling back, he's got triads here as well and that might be enough to see off the spam. Though I would be bringing out more defensive units than more mobile missile launches because he's now down to only 5,000 hit points, 4,000 hit points. Are we about to see a second ejection? No, we're not, because that's now being cleaned up by the swam. Yes, Beta is falling back. Oh, that was an exciting little passage of play there. Papa has fallen back, but these titans are more than enough to push him back to the centre, if not further. And... Papa has also diverted some of his units in order to help out Adlordi by cutting off Beta's reinforcements. Push from Sinsigi and Info here. And there is a brick mixed in with those hoplites, so Info is also at T3 and he's firing up at the firebase that Exo has erected on the position from which we saw him driving Info earlier. He's got a Gunther here, but that RT isn't getting much done. Again, Corsairs from Sin City in support, but there is still this turret here. That said, the shield is down. Exo pushing in with spam, which will at least distract this task force from info, though I don't think there's enough in there, a lot of T1 still, to stop this force of bricks and hoplites. Still, the shield comes back up. I think Exo is going to hold on to that position. For now, and Papa is proving a hard nut to crack in the middle. He is still in the green with five vets on his com and Nano. He's got 20,000 hit points to soak up the fire, and those Titans are dead. A couple more coming in. This area is a bit of a no man's land, and look at all that reclaim 6,000, 3,000, 2,000, another thousand. There's about 12 or 13,000 reclaim scattered around here. For whoever can take it. I think Adlordi is in a better position to do so. And that is by far the biggest concentration of as yet unclaimed reclaim on the map. However, he, Papa has lost a T2 Mex from there, and that would be this sneaky TML here from Sin City, which has claimed just three things, but they're a Mex, a factory ended engineer, and that's going to have easily paid for itself with that one shot. Let's see whether it gets any more damage done. Now, 
Exo is building up his mobile missile launches and protecting them with stealth, which is nice. But info action ratio has started on a monkey, and you can see there it's being assisted by both comms and quite a lot of engineer build power. But it's also quite close to a lot of units, and it took a hit there from this artillery position that Exo has in play up here. And the more damage it takes while it can't even move, while it's not even finished, the better for EXO and for Code Team. So one key difference we have here is that there are all the comms for Code Team up front, but Cool guy has chosen to stay back and it feels like Nimoshir has come here which is now gun and shield could definitely make a difference but if there's one place that you don't want commanders in a fight it's up against an experimenter and despite those couple of arty hits that monkey is going to go up I don't know who was pinging that but I suspect it means they've seen it the cold team they know that there's a monkey there. Nimoshira is also putting up artillery and he's got some Cerberus but I don't think he's got enough to save his comm should the monkey push in and try and get him. And there's also defensive turrets here but that's a lot of bricks. There's three bricks in there as well as the hoplites and this may be enough for info to push Exo off this position. down goes the shear gen. He's not even going to need the monkey here to push back Exo. Exo working on Nano. Nimo Shear has sensed to be falling back because that monkey is nearly done. So this fire race has fallen but Exo is based down here on the plane below. I mean that is getting some work done. I mean, I say it's forward, there's, it's still, that Gunter is actually still up and firing and getting damage. But for how long? They're supposed to be targeting the point defences first because they're too close for the artillery to hit them. Over on the left though, Adlordi has definitely fully converted to T3 because that's a decent Titan push and he's brought his comm with it. He's only got nano though, not gun. I don't think there's. I don't think you should be bringing your com in after the T2 stage, or even at the T2 stage without gun, even if you've got the survivability of nano. And it looks like Adori agrees with me. He's falling back. But while Beta does indeed have T3, there's the monkey finishing now. He hasn't yet converted it into mass T3 production. These are all HQs. Peter, my dude, did you misclick that? I think you must have misclicked that because that's a huge waste of mass. It might even be worth reclaiming them and just rebuilding them straight up on the um, on the base as T3 support factories. Because you know they'd be better and you'd save some mass in the process. That monkey is coming up here, and we'll look at it in just a moment, as these titans are getting work done. There's enough T2 in there that I would consider a few Percy's to help out if I were Adorody, but we really need to see what this monkey's doing. In it comes, finally taking out that Gunther. And we've got two ACUs here, and it looks like they're planning to mount a combined overcharged defense here, but that monkey is not hurt at all and I don't think that's going to work. I think they need to keep falling back because look at this. He's coming forward. They're both coming forward. They fire on the monkey. It's down into the yellow. Boom. And boom. So their efforts are in vain. Not only have they not killed the monkey which is in the red but still alive. That's two comms from Code Team Dead and suddenly it's 4v2. 
That is painful for a cold team. Two losses in two seconds at the just under the 24 minute mark. And that monkey now has two vets and is regaining health quickly. A moment to go it was in the red. But wisely, I like this play from Info. It's not just pushing on in. It's coming back to clear up in this area. I would actually be sending it this way. Where it can rejoin with support from Info and Sin City. It's moving around a bit, I'm seeing a few things it can shoot, but in the middle we're having another big combat going down. However, that's still mostly T2. There is a bit of T3 in there, a couple of Titans from Papa, but Gulgai has Perseus forming the backbone of his army with a couple of Titans there, and that I think will be enough to push Papa back. a bit of Corsair pressure from Sin City but it looks like Papa ha having inherited air from Nimoshira has enough to see them off but here comes that monkey now on three vets on 24,000 hits and pushing in with a bunch of spam from Sin City and they're gonna have to worry about that because there's not really enough here to stop it this is a push from Beta which I think is going to be doomed Shielded Titans against T2 with T2 point defense and support. My money is on those Titans right there. And there are a couple of restorers trying to get work done against the monkey, but Sinsugi is taking them out with ASFs, and there is an ASF response from Papa. But this air fight looks like it's going to be about a draw and the monkey is still the problem. It's still there and it's on more hit points than the last time we looked because it keeps on vetting up. And of course, it's one of those sneaky cybers who, you know, regenerates everything. Another wave of restorers coming in for the monkey. Another wave of T2 dying to the titans. The Restorers, of course, do have amazing anti-air defense. And they are going to get some hits in on the monkey. They're being pung by Info. And, well, by at least two players over there. But they're not really getting enough damage done to be a significant threat to the monkey. Meanwhile, those Percy's from Gugai are ever so slowly pushing Papa back in the middle. And suddenly, although he's got T3 factories scattered around, I'm just not seeing enough from Papa to stop this push from Gugai. The restorers have been reassigned from trying to see off the monkey, which is still back here, and have come to take on these Percy's, but they are defended by a Cougar, a T3 mobile anti-air tank, in fact by two Cougars. And they really need to be focusing them down. Sure, restorers can tank quite a lot, but tanking far from two cougars, I wouldn't like that. I would be retargeting those specifically to take out the AI first if I were Papa. Meanwhile, Adlori finishes a fatty, which we can see trundling forward there. I think that's going to work quite well against Beto, who. Well, he has got an excellent eco, and we'll be checking on ecos in just a minute, hasn't really actually converted it into anything to do damage on the field. So the fact that there's all this T3 plus a fatty from Adordi, whose eco is only about, what's that, 45, 50, 60% give or take of um, beaters, might be enough to push him back a bit. However, 
these restorers have actually managed to push the Percy's from Gugai back a bit. This far base, which has stood for quite some time, is being sandwiched though. That monkey has come from the top. There's spam from Sin and mobile missile launches from Info coming from the bottom. And that far base doesn't stand up to any of this. It doesn't stand a chance. And that monkey, this apparently indestructible monkey, which has claimed two comms and who knows what else, has now killed 60,000 mass, is on five vets, has got 49, nearly 50,000 hit points, so more than it started with, and is regening fast. So this, this monkey feels like MVP. If you think there's another contender for MVP, do tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. You've watched half an hour already, so I know you love it. Now, there are ASFs coming to drive back the Restorers f from Papa, and Restorers have decent anti-air, but in terms of AA firepower, mass for mass, obviously an ASF, which is strictly anti-air, beats them. So, it is wise for Sin, for Sin, to for, um, Sin to take the fight, and for Papa to withdraw. But look at this! These are some quite significant losses close to his base for Beta, as in push the in push the T3 or the Fat Boy Bombard, but Beta has finished a Monkey Lord not a moment too soon, and it opens fire on the T3. The T3 is going to focus it, the Fat Boy is also going to focus it from back here. and it turns around to flee. This is good use of the fat boy kiting with it, but I think it may have turned a little bit too little, a little bit too late. Because while these units are still available to support it, they're more interested in laying down damage on the base. Holy cow, these are T3H kills, oh beta my dude, why did you not make, to make them support factories? But the monkey is actually gonna catch up to the fat boy, and sure, it's taken damage. It's into the yellow, it's close to being into the red. But it's big laser, it's in range of the fat boy. And the monkey is into the red, 7,000, it gets the vet, kills the fat boy and survives with 7,000 hit points remaining. And suddenly, this is not looking anywhere near as good for Adlordy, who has not only a monkey, but a vast heap of... Percy's from Gugai on their way in. Over here, forward comes the monkey from Info, that indestructible monkey. Ooh, cloaking going down for Info. So he could be going to do some interesting plays with that. We do have an experimental fight over here. Brewing. Nope, neither team seems keen to engage right now. Looks like we're going to have a big T3 fight at the front of Adordi's base. He's put up more triads. That seems like a stupid place for Novaks, and it looks like he agrees with me. What exploded there? Nothing important. But this T3 fight is going down. The Percy's from Gugai, the Percy's from Adlordi, they're just laying down the hurt. And there is artillery, T3 mobile artillery support here from Ad. And there are several triads firing into the fight. And that's going to be enough to see Gugai off. Why didn't Beta support with his either of his two monkeys? I think that those monkeys, even one of those monkeys, could have made the difference over here. Still just posturing over here. We've also got a monkey from Papa. In fact, two monkeys from Papa, and they're both coming down the middle. I mean, do they actually know there's a monkey here? Yeah, it looks like Papa is wisely going to bring back his monkey over here. He's also working on a crab. 
this line of Sam's is nice because it means he can engage with his restorers and then lure any ASFs that come to fight them back over the Sam's. So that's a nice play from Papa. So here, here come the restorers and they open fire on Mr. Indestructible Monkey who now had over 60,000 hit points. Actually, they're opening fire on the supporting spam first, which is quite sensible. But in come the ASFs. And the restorers fall back towards the line of Sam's. Now, I think it's time for a quick eco check. So let's see what we've got. So overall, that's a huge lead for a hot team. That is between three and four hundred per tick lead for hot team and it's showing in the total mass collected they're around two hundred thousand ahead total over the game that's like almost a mavel that's insane but let's have a look at eco balances so starting with papa that's actually pretty amazing sure he's spending more than he's making at the moment but he's got some buffer in there so this is good play from papa Adlordi perfectly balanced, love that. How's Gugai doing on the hot team? Well, Gugai is too full on mass and not enough power. He definitely needs to get some pigeons up so he can afford to spend that mass. And as it is, he's leeching off his team and still barely full. Good balance from Beta, although maybe he needs to spend a little more. Oh, so, well, since he's just given his entire base over to Gugai, maybe that's why Gugai's having a bit of power trouble. That must have happened in the recent few seconds. Let's have a quick look back here. Sorry, you got a run, says Sinsigi. And Info is power, is a mass stolen quite hard and on the bread iron for power. So he needs to throttle back his eco a bit and maybe focus a little more on getting on getting some mass teched up. So he has got the cloak and T2 on his com, which makes him pretty tough, but he hasn't got any gun upgrades at all, and I think that's just a survivor thing. The monkeys are pushing in from beta, but one of them's already dead, and the other's down into the yellow, because there's a fat boy here that can just shoot it, backed up by a huge horde of Percy's. Let's have a quick look at that. That is 38 Percy's from Adlordi. That's 12,000 DPS, that's four times the DPS of the monkey before you even look at the fat boy. But in the middle, Gugai's brought a fatty forward and he's just going to wipe Papa out of the middle entirely. Papa, however, is finally, finally getting a chance to take out Hero Monkey. Boom! F's in the chat, my dude, for Hero Monkey as he is taken out by two monkeys and a mega from Papa. And immediately, having taken out that thorn in the side that's plagued Code Team for so long, the Mega and Monkeys come in towards the Fat Boy. Now they're faster than a Fatty, so they can catch it. But that Fatty can kite, and it's not on its own. This is an awful lot of supporting firepower from Gugai. Big T3 fight going down here between the bricks of Beta and the Percy's of add but I've now got two fatties in there and no monkeys are on the immediate scene for beta so ad has got the advantage there. Gugai has a huge horde of ASF though and I think that is he only producing restorers from his air grid? Yes he is look at this so a full restorer play from Papa which means that he will have a great air to ground but it means that I have to worry a lot about those ASFs because Google is going to be outproducing him in terms of direct air-to-air -air firepower. One of the monkeys has fallen to the fat boy, but this fat boy is about to die to the mega fire, and down it goes. So with these two experimenters in the middle, the restorers have fallen back over the Sams, as we said, which is nice. So I think that Papa's going to hold the middle with these XPs, so there is this force to worry about. We'll check back on that in a moment. I think Papa's going to hold the middle, just. And now we have another No Man's Land out here. Look at that reclaim. 23, 
33,000 there, and that's about 50,000 in the middle, and another 50, 60, 70,000 there. Ha! Huh. Make that even more as the monkey dies. So there's immense amounts of reclaim to be hoovered up, and look at this, Adori at least is not being idle about it. He's got his engineers in there, he's sucking it up. Like, um, think of some sort of inappropriate pun for that, if you will. Now, this army has stopped, and I can understand why, because Gorgai's got a lot on his plate to handle, but it does mean that it's now free, delicious food for that big horde of restorers. How many restorers does Papa have right now? He has 24, which is 6,000 DPS, which is pretty nice. And on top of that, there's this fat boy over here. But in come these fat boys, gonna make a mess of Beta's base unless he can do something about it. Now he has got a Mega, which he's finished here and which is coming forward, and he's nearly got a monkey up. Now these fatties need to turn and flee because fatties outrange Megas, but if the Mega gets in close and the Mega's got enough hit points to just eat up the fatty fire, laugh it off, and spit it back at them. One fatty down to the Mega, but the Mega's down into the red. If Ad were just kiting here, if he just turned this fatty away and had it drive away from the Mega, Okay, well he gets it anyway, but now he needs to certainly kite this monkey, although he may just have enough Percy's here to take it out with raw firepower. My dude, please start driving that fatty away. The Percy's are getting shots off, but there aren't so many left. But another fatty comes in, and that monkey is going to die. Boom! So, as Lordy wins that, and beat us a long way off another monkey. This could be a chance for Ad to push in a bit and get some damage done here or here. But he's not taking it, he's falling back. Could be a mistake. Meanwhile, those XBs from Papa have continued their long walk and are now back over here trying to deal with info who's going for the laser. Cloak and laser. Now I like that com. Help yells Beta as income the fatties again. Sorry about that zooming in and out suddenly. And he's going for the telly. He had the cloak, he's going for the telly. Info, my dude, you could have literally just walked up to those and shot them, and there would have been nothing they could do about it. But you're going for the telly. Why would you do that, my dude? These restorers might have just got a bit too far out of position, and those ASFs are shredding them. But the, the ASFs haven't really moved away, having come over this line of SAMs. So a few are lost, but that's a lot of restorers that have fallen. The fatties continue to creep forward, preventing... And there's now three of them, preventing the construction of that monkey that was being built over here. Sneaky little reclaim engineers trying to suck up that monkey wreck before Ad does, and they'll die, but in that time they'll have got more than enough reclaim to pay for themselves, so good move. Oh, but two fatties from Gulgai over here. We're going to have a huge fatty war. A sumo wrestle match, if you will. One of the fatties for Gulgai dies. One of the fatties from Ad has lost its shield. He's trying to flee. And they pull apart just in time. Oh, but what is this I see? D I see a telesnipe. I see a tele snipe info action ratio is teleporting in on Adlody's com who's just standing there unprotected. I mean he's got a shield, I think, but No he hasn't, he hasn't even got a shield. He's just standing there unprotected. Adlody is going to die. Look at that, look at that laser to the face. Isn't that rude? Boom! 
Adori is taken out by info action ratio doing that most cyber of all perversions getting in there and tele sniping meanwhile back to what those fatties are I was going to say back to what those fatties are doing but look what's been going on here Google has sent his units through the middle and they're up here getting into the back sneaking into Papa's base and it's now four again well three and a half technically because since he's had to leave and it's just his comm standing around it's now three against one Papa's comm is here and this is actually quite a large and devastating looking force of boys a desperate ravager defense is being flung up by Papa and he's also defending with his restorers and there's also this fatty he's inherited from Ad sandwiching from this way more restorers coming in all the time but will it be enough because this is a huge force of T3 that we've got charging in why is that one switched off its shield I don't know and that one however these fatties coming back in to sandwich this lot they've decided not to take on the ravages and have instead decided to go for Ad's old base but there's a lot of fatty in there as we can see down here and I don't know whether they're going to get much work done I also note that these boys are just flying over enemy base now where there's a lot of tech 3 mobile anti-air and that could have been a sacrifice that Gorg I didn't need to make but look at these they're just getting so much work done several mechs is taken out they've caused a lot of mass to be thrown into ravages on a place quite far from what should be the front line so overall, I think that was worth it from Gugai. And Info's teleporting again. Where, and he's going behind these... Behind these two Megas that we have coming down on this side. Will they notice him? There's also a monkey. So we've got two Megas and a monkey here from... From Papa. But in behind him walks Info. But he's been seen and the monkey's just shooting at him. My dude, in the fight between a, a monkey laser and a, co a com laser, the monkey wins and info dies. So, sure, so that's the price you get for doing cyber and maser com play if you go for the telly. You just die. Like the cyber and scum that you are. Actually, I quite like playing cyber. They're tied for my favourite race, as I've mentioned before, with Seraphim, favourite race to play. We've got a mega here just a lone mega unsupported from beta and it is getting work done because there must be no radar coverage here they're not shooting it and the mega just takes out a fat boy for free now obviously Papa is worried about this force and he's probably microing it and they have actually just utterly crushed Info's old base there are now two fat boys defending and either but there's a scathis that scathis fire my dudes during all this play over here we've got this fight going down here we've got this fight going down here and we've got a scathis raining fire down on Gugai over here the fatties of which there are still three despite several uh, having gone down to the mega fire okay two now two alive two down to the mega fire the mega's still going restorers come in to defend over here these guys are retreating over this way and trying to flank away I don't really like that I think they should have pushed in but I guess they're thinking we'll just leave the base to the Scathis and I mean what can C Hot Team do about the Scathis the Ecos are almost even now sure there's still that 250,000 a full Mavel's worth lead in mass collected but the Ecos have been brought back to even by this massive play from Papa and is that mega finally going to go down it's down to the red so many restorers have been killed but there are now those two fatties and two monkeys coming up from Gugai and I don't think that well now he knows they're there but that's going to be difficult what's the plan for that scathis asks info as fire smashes down on the base of Google guy here his comms still up here trying to defend he's got the shield he's trying to build more to defend but you can see the damage that that scathis has done let's see how much mass it's killed 81,000 mass killed oh dear do you see what I see my dudes do you see another cybern 
building another laser. I think that's their plan for the Scathis. But look at this, this force is now pushing in. I'm not sure why this fatty drove back, because it means it's now out of position in supporting this push on these fatties. Yeah, look, he's going for telly. But look at this fight, this is a brutal piece of combat. These monkeys don't need to stop though, you're allowing the fatties to get away and get free shots on you. However, this wall of ravages, it's fine against megas and monkeys, but it won't stop a fatty, which can just outrange them. And it looks like that telly's finished. Is he going to go? He's going for it. And... Papa is just in the middle of nowhere, but that's not where he's going, is it? I think I see... I think I see... The ghost of a cyberan commander on that Scathis. Is there tele defense? He's about to find out. In he comes, and holy cow, is there tele defense? Look at all that cyber and fire tickling him to death. But not only does Beta die, so does the Scathis. Beta laughs as he dies. Dead Scathis, my dude, Beta, dead you. That this is now a huge, huge amount of firepower. Two monkeys up here, several Percy's and two fat boys bombarding from range, coming into Papa's base. What's he going to do about it? Well, my dudes, what he's going to try and do about it is the same thing that Papa has been doing all game. Restorers. Restorers and more restorers. He's just going to try and straight rebuild on the Scathis. But this push, taking out Adelaide's base, has inflicted the same damage on Papa as Papa inflicted on Gugai by taking out Info's old base. And the fatty is still alive and has taken out one monkey, but this monkey is still alive and is actually getting quite close and the air grid might be about to go up. Meanwhile, these two fatties are still bombarding over here and there's far, far too many ASFs in support for the restorers to get any work done. He was trying to build a GC, but that's going down. Nothing does my heart joy like watching T3 gunship spam fail, says Info. I mean, on the one hand, yes, it's failed, but on the other hand, I mean, it's taken out a couple of monkeys here. There goes the second monkey, and this fatty is still alive. But that might just be a drop in the metaphorical ocean against these two fatties from... Gugai, who now have another monkey coming up in support. I just want to quick look at the reclaim on the map. Look at that. Look at that. There are hundreds of thousands of reclaim that we can see there. Immense amounts. But we had we forgotten about these? I sort of had. Gugai's being forced to fall back as the mega and monkey from earlier who now have between them around 200,000 mass killed come stomping in. There are monkeys in defence, but with that mega, this monkey is a 5 vet monkey. They're killing support commanders. This monkey though, it opens fire on Gorgo's monkey, but Gorgo's monkey quickly takes it out. There's another monkey coming up to take his place from Papa, and this mega is still basically undamaged and full vet, so this monkey's going to die. Somehow, he must have started it before he left, since like he's finished a monkey, which is effectively just a tow it. Now that he isn't there, he wants to snipe you, says Beta, and Beta is not wrong. You guys right here, that he's about to finish another monkey. He's not actually building that, my dude, just turn your comm there, finish that off. Up here, the base which originally belonged to Papa has been crushed, and the fatties push in, and... What is there that Papa can actually defend himself with here? He started another Scatish, but that seems like too little, too late. 
My old base is safe a place far from him. Go transport there, suggests Peter, and that would not be unwise, moving the com over here. Well, if it, w if it can be done by one side, it can be done by the other. Ascathis is almost done, like 70% done there for Gulgai. <coughs> and the Mega comes in fighting another monkey. Mega beats monkey, so... That will get the kill. He should be shooting it here. He can just take this out at range. And if he can, if he can take these monkeys out, then all he has to do is drive the Mega a bit closer, set it to focus ACU, and boom, the guy dies. Kill that. What are you guys doing? Complains Info. And I'm inclined to agree. I see he, what he's trying to do is mass monkeys here to wait until there's enough to take the Mega. This monkey needs to come in here now. Are these going to kill him? Come on, come on. He's right here, my dude. Just shoot him. But this is far more trouble. There's one mega to defend. One mega against this immense army. Two fatties, a monkey, and how many is that? How many is that right there? That is 24 bricks and if that weren't enough 27 Percy's so that's an insane amount of T3 firepower this monkey comes in from the back go guys running my dude you just have to move and chase him if you can get to this com which is on foot in the middle of nowhere unsupported before they get to your com you'll win but the mega goes down I mean sin's gonna die but that's not gonna help anything really is it and the monkey dies as well Wrong come to kill, my dude. I think the writing is on the metaphorical wall for poor old Papa. The, and the Scathis is finished. Just as we say that, we see the rain of Scathis fire come pouring down on his base. Come on, let's get that Scathis firing. Do we get a big comic explosion in the background? Boom! There goes the Scathis firing. And there's that poor com. The Megas are treating. Okay, he's sending in two Megas. I think he's trying to send these two Megas to come down here, somehow catch Gugai. His com is trying to run as well, but it's stuck on his own engineers. The game is won, says Info, if you just don't die. And while Papa is going to try and do something about that with those two Megas, come on, Papa, your com needs to not be there. This does not feel a safe place for you to stand, my dude. Not with Scathis Fire raining down, not being stuck on your own Mega. No, it, he thinks... I'm about to say he thinks it's over because he was heading that way, but now he's running away. GG, says Papa. I think he's realised that all hope is lost. And boom. Hot team wins the game. What did you think of that, my dudes? Do you think that Papa, though he was at one point technically 4v1, could have won that if he just doubled down on something? A little bit more force here... I think he could have actually swept Gulgai. I think he had a chance to win it at the end there, but he was obviously concerned with having to micro against the defence coming around the other side. And I think that Adlord, he missed a huge chance to push in on Beta's base here when he had those two fat boys and there was just nothing left because Beta had gone all into eco. Anyway, tell me what you thought in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. I am the Commissar, and I will see you next time.